Good morning, everybody. This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. And today I'm going to show you how to disassemble and clean the Sig Sauer P365 handgun. Uh, these instructions are also going to apply to the P365XL. If you have a P365 SAS, there's going to be a few different steps that you're going to have to follow. I will ask you to refer to your instruction manual, as I don't have an SAS model to show you in this video. Now, cleaning this pistol, it's, it's not very difficult, but there's a few steps that can be kind of tricky. And if you are a new gun owner, it could lead to some frustration when it comes to disassembly and reassembly. And I'm going to show you the proper steps in order to do so. There. So for starters, cleaners, um, I like to use cleanse oil personally. I mean, it's a little expensive. It's about 15, 16 bucks a bottle delivered, but it does work really good. Uh, you can also use Safari Land Break Free CLP. This cleaner you can buy at your local sporting goods store. Your Walmarts usually have them. And I've also got uh, GunTube Lube, which runs about $12, $13 delivered. You can get that over at uh, GunTube.org. One bottle of this stuff will last a long time. So any of these are going to do a great job to clean, lube, and protect. Um, I prefer to use a bore brush. I'm sorry, a bore snake when I clean the barrels of my pistols and rifles. You can get these for about $9 or $10. I'll take it out of the bag here in a little bit. Um, there's, there's Allen brand, there's Hoppies, there's uh, Real Avid. Uh, mostly companies make really good bore snakes. I've got three or four different brands that I run. Now, you can also use you know a cleaning rod with a, a copper brush that you run through the bore and, and clean it out and so on. Uh, you can go that route if you want to. That's fine. If you have a traditional cleaning kit, there's no problem with that. But I do find the bore snakes to be just a little bit easier. Now, I also have a bore light. This isn't necessary, but it is kind of nice if you need to look down into some of the smaller portions of your firearm and or check your barrel to make sure it's nice and clean when you get done. Uh, Q-tips are nice for some fine detail work, your cotton swabs. Also, I do recommend using you know, some sort of latex or nitrile gloves, and the main reason why is that these are petroleum-based cleaners. And, you know, I have no idea long-term exposure could be bad, but uh, it also just helps your hands stay nice and clean so that they don't smell like gun oil when you get done. If you don't have gloves, uh, just make sure that you wash your hands with cold water first and then hot water. Uh, the cold water will prevent your skin from absorbing the lead and the chemicals that we're going to be using to clean the firearm. So the first step in the process is to ensure that the firearm is in fact unloaded. And again, these instructions will work for the P365 and the P365XL. Uh, press the magazine release button right here to pull out the magazine. As you can see, these magazines are loaded, but I do not have one in the chamber, but we're going to double check anyway just to make sure that we're safe. Okay, the chamber is in fact empty. Uh, now, as for the, uh, the magazines, you know, you want to keep oil away from the ammunition as much as you can. I do have a little bit of oil on these mags, especially keep the oil away from the primers on the rear of the ammunition. But if you want to put just, you know, a drop of oil on a cloth and wipe off the mags and then wipe them off with a clean cloth, you can do that. As for the cleaning itself, I like to use cleaning patches. They're just a little bit easier and handy to use on the channel, but you can cut up an old cotton t-shirt if you have one. Okay, I also recommend a nice cup of coffee. It makes the whole process so much more enjoyable. You drink whatever roast you want to. You do you. All right, so once we've taken out the magazine, we will go ahead and start off by cleaning off the magazines themselves. I'm not gonna show you how to disassemble them and clean them. The instruction manual does show you how to do that. I don't think it's necessary uh, for this particular handgun, but I may make a separate video at some point showing you how to clean them off. So we just put a drop of cleanse oil or cleaner on your cleaning cloth here. Go ahead and wipe off the magazines. Again, keep the oil away from the ammunition. They can get a little bit dirty, especially if you daily carry, you can get a buildup of lint and dust and grime. And if you're in a sandy area, you may start to notice some, some film that gets on your magazines. So as you can see, they're just a little bit dirty. Now go ahead and wipe them off with a clean cloth, <clears throat> clean cleaning patch. So the first step for the handgun here in terms of the disassembly, you want to grab the slide and we're going to push back on the slide and then press up on the slide lock lever, slide release, some people like to call it, and that will lock the slide in a rear position. Okay, we've done that. Now this part can be a little bit difficult, especially if you have weak grip strength, this can be a difficult process for you. You may need some assistance with this. You've got a takedown lever right here. It does have spring tension on it. And in order to release it, I like to use my right hand. I'm right-handed, I have a little more strength there. So press down. Okay, and with the uh, rubber gloves on, the nitrile gloves, it's a difficult process to do. Now, when you release the slide, you want to hold the gun and keep your thumb behind the slide lever so that the slide lever doesn't move and lock and that would prevent your slide from coming off. So just simply, okay, keep your thumb behind the lever, grab the slide with your left hand, or if you're gonna do this the reverse, if you're left-handed, you'll be doing the opposite hands. Okay, and just simply pull the slide forward and the slide will come right off. Notice I kept tension on that release, that takedown lever the entire time. All right, so cleaning off the frame, it's a very simple process. Put just a couple drops of cleaner, your favorite oil, on your cleaning patch and go ahead and just wipe out the inside of the frame. 
Now there's already a little bit of lubrication on this uh, pistol. I did shoot it yesterday, so I wanted to make sure it was properly lubed, but it may be dirtier depending on how many rounds you put through it. This pistol's only had about 20 rounds put through it, so it's not too dirty. Now you're gonna have oil all over the place. We will wipe off some of the excess once we get there. Now what I like to do also, you can see we've got pretty decent little buildup there of, of carbon and spent powder and so on. Okay, put a couple drops of oil on a patch and then using your cleaning rod, if you've got a one piece rod, you can do that. Or if you've got the traditional cleaning rod, you're gonna to wanna to put a, a little stem and you're gonna screw that in on the end so you can push your cleaning patch through it. I like to clean out the grip itself. You can get a buildup inside the grip of oil, grime, sand, lubricant, just depending on how you carry, how often you carry, the environment that you carry in. You'd be surprised what you can get in there. And there's also sometimes metal parts in there. It doesn't hurt to have just a little bit of lubricant on those parts. And what I prefer about the, uh, the cleanse oil is when it dries, it doesn't leave a, 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 like a thick residue on the parts. So as you can see, there was a little bit of muck that was in that grip. Now we're going to do it again, but this time with the dry patch, we really don't need to leave any lubricant in the pistol grip area inside the magazine well. So going down from the top, just go ahead and clean that out again. Now take yourself a Q-tip and put a drop of oil on it. I like to run those down the tracks that we have right here on the sides where the slide is going to ride. You can put that on the inside. Just make sure you've got a layer, just a little band of lubricant inside there. Also the top. Okay, we're gonna repeat that for the other side. Just kind of keep that, keep your eye on that takedown lever so it doesn't move back into a lock position. There you go. Put that out, go ahead and hit the top. And you can take your Q-tip and just dry out any excess oil that you have inside the frame. There you go. I do like to keep just a little bit of lubricant in the rear area back here. So you can put a drop on your Q-tip and just go ahead and wipe everything off. There are some, some tracks here towards the top that you want to keep some lubricant on. So the frame is clean. All right, let's go ahead and put the frame off to the side. Disassembly of the slide, piece of cake. So this is a captive guide rod spring combo, which means once you take the guide rod and the spring out, it's not going to go shoot off, which is really nice. Drop of oil on a patch. Go ahead and wipe off the spring. And take a dry patch and just wipe off the excess. You can leave a little bit of oil on the spring combo, that's fine, but it doesn't have to be excessively oiled. Okay, done. All right, let's go ahead and take out the barrel. Okay, all you have to do is press up from the bottom here where the ejection port is and pull back. Your barrel's gonna come right out, tiny barrel. So even though this has just a you know, few rounds on it, it's not showing any, any real wear and tear at all, which is great. This is where you're gonna notice any marks or marring. You might notice if there's any excessive wear going on. Okay, so go ahead and just wipe all the muck and crud off initially. Then what I like to do is what I call marinating the barrel. So we're gonna go ahead and put a few drops of oil down the barrel. It's okay if it comes out of the bottom, it's gonna be, a, this part's the messiest part of the whole process, okay? There we go. All right. <clears throat> on the outside, again, drop oil on your patch. And wipe off the outside of your barrel. And it's gonna have a lot of excess on it, that's fine. You're gonna let it sit. This is gonna be the kind of the deep cleaning process for this barrel. Okay, get inside this notch right here with your uh, cleaning patch. You can get a buildup in there. As you can see, this one's not too dirty though. So there's already cleaner in the barrel. So at this point, you don't have to put any cleaner on the uh, boar snake itself. If you really want to, you can put a drop of cleaner. Most of your boar snakes have a very similar design. You've got kind of some copper brushes right here. You can put a drop in front and in the back of the uh, uh, crop, copper brushes if you want to, but it's not necessary. Always go from the back to the front when you clean your barrel. Okay, push your boar snake down the back here, well, the weight of it, and just simply pull through. Do this a couple times and you'll have a nice clean barrel. It's okay if the barrel is dry. But again, if you want to do that little single dab of oil on your boar snake and run it through, you can. I'm going to run this through two times, and this really does make it easy. Now, there are some people that say that this doesn't give it the deep clean that it really needs. Uh, you can use, again, the more traditional uh, boar brushes, you know, copper brushes if you want to. That's totally up to you. But me, I just use the boar snakes. Okay, so the, the boar's looking nice and clean. I don't know if you can see down there. Might not be able to. Let's see if we can get that in focus for you. There you go. You can see your rifling in the barrel. It's nice and shiny. So I'm going to do one more pass of the boar snake. <clears throat> and this time I'm going to put just a drop of oil on the front, drop of oil on the back. And that will give it the final lubrication it needs. Because this gun could sit for months and never be used. It could sit for days and be used. You never know. So you want a nice protective coat in there to protect it from rust. Especially if you're in a high humidity environment, maybe a salty environment, maybe you live on the coast. 
All right, so take your patch and just wipe off any excess oil from the barrel. You can leave a little bit of lubrication on there, that's totally fine. Um, you may notice some buildup here towards the rear of the barrel. If that's the case, just keep working on it. You can scrub on it a little bit if you want to. You may want to have an old toothbrush on standby to help you with any kind of scrubbing detail work that you need to do. I forgot to mention that in the video, but it's always nice to have on handy. But the finish on this particular barrel really does lend to easy cleaning. I think it's the uh, nitron finish is what they call it. So that's nice and clean, nice and shiny. Okay, just go ahead and set that off to the side. Now to clean out the slide itself, it's very easy. Just one thing you want to remember is make sure you keep your oil out of the striker uh, channel down here. And I like to take just a dry Q-tip, go down in the channel and just wipe, scrub a little bit in the rear. If there's any kind of a buildup in there, as you can see there is, um, it's going to come out. You want to keep oil and grease out of that channel. There's no reason for lubrication to get down in there. Okay, so just keep that in the mind the whole time that we're doing this. Uh, wiping out the slide is a very easy process. Grab yourself a patch. Okay, put a little drop of oil on there and wipe out the inside of the slide. Now, if you got big fingers, this may be a slightly difficult process. Sometimes you got to get your pinky down in there. There you go. Put your finger down in the uh, hole where the barrel comes out. Put your pinky down in there and get that cleaned out. Do the same underneath here where the guide rod spring goes. Guide rod and spring combo, get in there, wipe that out. You can start to see how that's taken off some. You know, it's, it's a little bit dirty. I've seen worse, but it's a little bit dirty. Okay, wipe off obviously the bottom of the slide itself. Go. Again, you don't need a lot of lubrication for these firearms to function properly. You need just a little bit in some of the high wear areas. And the more that you shoot your pistol, the more you're going to start to notice those high wear areas. They're going to be parts where you're going to see a thinning out of your finish. You might start to see some bare metal exposing. That's totally fine. It's not a big deal. And also in the front here where your firing pin comes out, uh, you can wipe that off with just a little bit of lubrication on the patch, just very, very light. Just go ahead and wipe a couple times. You don't want to get any oil down in that hole where the striker is, where your firing pin is. Wipe that out a couple times. You can hit that with a brush if you want to, like an old toothbrush. There we go. And I do apologize if any part of this video is uh, out of focus, okay? So we do want to keep oil lubrication out of this area, because the last thing you want to do is get oil down in that firing pin hole and have it clog up with dirt and grime and muck and so on. And this a couple drops of oil on a Q-tip, just go ahead and run it down in these little channels on the sides here. Okay, on this top, this top metal portion right here too. There we go. You can wipe a little bit inside the slide if you want to, just to have a thin protective coating. That's totally cool. Go ahead and wipe off the front with the dry portion of your Q-tip. Make sure that's nice and dry. And the last portion of the cleaning is you'll want to put a drop of oil on a Q-tip. And again, I say drop because I don't want you to just soak these things. You don't need to, especially if you're new to cleaning these firearms, you might be overdoing it with oil. Anybody who's a seasoned gun owner knows how much you're going to need to use. Just go ahead and run your Q-tip down the channel here that your slide rides in. Get a little channel right down in this area. Just go ahead and rub it down there or wipe down there. Okay, this is a little bit dirty, so I'm going to use another Q-tip on this side. A lot of carbon buildup on this pistol. I don't know if it had been cleaned up very much before I picked it up. Here we go. And we'll go ahead and wipe off the left side. Okay, so reassembly is very simple. Go ahead and take your barrel, drop it back down into the slide. Okay, so at this point, make sure that it's completely flat. Make sure that there's no bulging. You're not seeing the barrel popping out towards the bottom, that it's nice and flat, okay? Now you do have a cutout right here on the rear of your barrel. There's like a little half moon that you can see there. That's where you're gonna wanna rest this uh, circle piece on the rear of your guide rod. So press it back into place so it looks like this. Okay, go ahead and squeeze it just a little bit and it'll just pop right down. So it should look flat if you did it properly. If it's sticking up at all like that, or if you see something that looks like this, you've obviously got some issues, you'll want to take it back out. Okay, so squeeze it, pop it back into place, and it will stay. When it's properly reassembled, it will stay in place. Okay, it's gonna look like that. There you go. Okay, now for reassembly of the pistol, this is the part where people can get a little bit frustrated, okay? So you want to make sure that your takedown lever stays flat the whole time, that it stays down in a downward position. Go ahead and put your slide back on. What we want to do is we want to keep our finger on this lever and pull back on the slide and lock the slide back open like it was before we took it apart. Okay, so push on that lever, pull back, press up on your takedown lever and let go. Okay, now at this point you can go ahead and press the lever up, it just pops right back into place. And you are done. I know a lot of people try to press it while they're holding the slide back. You don't want to do that. Make sure the slide is in a lockback position, and then you can flick that takedown lever back up, and you're all set to go. You can go and cycle it a few times if you want to. Just give yourself a dry fire. There you go. Check your striker. Reset. Okay, good to go. 
All right, and uh, we'll simply wipe off with a drop of oil on a patch. Okay, again, so if you have any questions about the uh, disassembly and cleaning, please put them down below in the uh, comments box, and I'll be more than happy to explain it to you. Again, hopefully everything in this video is in focus. I'm trying to keep an eye on it the whole time. Okay. And we are good to go. So this is Travis P11. I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you get a chance, make sure you check out my podcast called Caliber Corner. We run that Saturday mornings at 8 a.m. Central Time on my channel. We have a variety of different topics, including cleaning and maintaining firearms, prepping the outdoors, vehicles, etc. It's a great little show. I want you definitely to make sure you check it out. So in the meantime, I want you guys to have fun, be safe, keep your guns clean. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.